She want me lock it down Say she want whining on the bread and pop it down Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Diamond the Slayer, and I'm back with another episode of Unsigned Critic with your girl Diamond the Blood Clot Slayer. Per okay, so if you're new to my channel, what's good? What's up, Wagwan? Okay, y'all. So, if y'all guys are new to my channel, just know this channel is very, very fun. I do a lot of lit things on my channel. I'm a whole entrepreneur, I have my own business where I sell handbags, lip glosses dresses and i also do a lot of hair videos on my channel because i be learning how to slay my hair you know what i'm saying i'm not a professional or nothing but i get it done okay and i do a lot of makeup videos i have professional makeup artists teach me i look a ting and i can't teach you i look a ting too yeah and i also do my favorite favorite thing on this channel which is unsigned critic this shit right here where i go over all the newest hip-hop R&B and dance all reggae and music because you know me right yes sir Jamaican girl all the way best of both worlds of America and Jamaica combined Amida yeah so y'all in this episode I am so so excited to review this album like a long time me away from the album here I don't know if y'all been waiting but I know I've been waiting on this highly anticipated album i mean also know to the cargonians them did i wait for the album y'all too you feel me so yeah the boy cargo the dealer yes i'm changing name from cargo to cargo the dealer <laughs> cargo the dealer just dropping new album one more time and yes y'all yes y'all it's finally out and if you did not go listen to it once you finish watch that video, y'all, y'all go on and listen to that album, that kind of album just, yo, maybe, maybe, maybe get into the album real quick. So, yes, dimes, okay, yes, dimes. So, let me give y'all a little backstory on why, how I got to know about the whole album coming out, how I even, you know, knew Cargo, I still I do the music thing, because if you know, you know, the Cargo stopped the music for a little while. Well, according to me, me name knows I still I do music. And just kind of disappear and fall off of the map. <laughs> you know, fall off of the map already for about a couple of years now. And I die here, about 2021, and pop up back on the scene. And that's how I get to, you know, get back into my cargo bug. You feel me? You know, he had his hit, hit song years ago. I don't want to say exactly how much year ago, but a while ago. But he said, Me now sell out my friend, them. Now I got this, my friend, them. Play blessings, me send them. Please your guy and protect them. Yeah. Big, 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 big song from the boy Cargo. And you know, after that song, they have a couple more songs, but that song is the number one biggest song ever. And you know, we're not here from Cargo for years. Unless you're a real, real, real Cargonian, you probably didn't follow him for the past three, four years when I come back into the scene. But if you didn't know, you didn't know. You feel me? And. Me, I'm one of the people who had no idea that Cargo was even still doing music or whatever. I always knew about Cargo from my family them because we, we, we're kind of family and thing or whatever. So me know him my boss for a long time, but me didn't really know why I'm fall off, why I'm stopped doing music or nothing like that. But this year, 2021, and come back and make with no say. You know, he wasn't really happy. He was going through a lot in his life with the whole music industry. Thank God for him. Why Francine, big up Francine, who come and you know, play the real, real, real virtuous woman role. And she take over and she put her man on her eye pedestal and look for the no, just a up, 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 up. You feel me? Yeah. So, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. If you know, you know. But anyway, Cargo come back now with a new album called One More Time. He was promoting it for a long time now on his social media, on his Facebook. He do dub plays every man and talk about a hard working man. You feel me? Very hard working. And ever since we start watching for the past about three, four months now, I realized that Cargo is a really, really genuine person. Very um, connected 
to the Lord, you feel me? And he wants to spread love and teach his fans everything that he's learned in the past couple of years about life and just, you know, showing love to others. You know, you give you give what you get on all these things or whatever like that. So I was really excited about hearing this album because I already knew it wasn't gonna be no hype up, hype up thing. And as much as I like to dance and twerk and do all these things, you know, sometimes I want to chill out and I want to relax too. You feel me? Believe it or not. So I was really excited to hear what Congo was coming out with. I already had an idea because, like I said, I follow him on Facebook and he's always, you know, previewing his songs. So for my first time to hear his previews, I say, yo, the album, yeah, I got mad. It's like a sick, like, you know, I just, all, I love all the songs that he was previewing on his Facebook channel. So I kind of heard some of the songs and I was really waiting for him to actually actually dropped the whole project you feel me and he finally did okay yes y'all and you know cargo is also an independent artist that went through so so much and he's also trying to teach the new upcoming artists them not to make the same mistakes he made so i really respect him and his wife for doing that because over here in america like the whole music thing they don't play about streams and sales and stuff and a lot of people still get robbed so i could just imagine what's going on in jamaica like what's been going on for years in jamaica so to have somebody like cargo come up no i'm not afraid to talk because i know i on to talk enough shit, but i'm afraid to talk i'm afraid to talk and when cargo talk no on the like oh wow you, you can't believe but i really think i'm not afraid to talk you feel me and it's just sad so i'm just proud that he's very independent so that really made me want to support the album even more you know what i'm saying we have to help one another especially the one them was so good and them do their own music write them own song add them own producers and then it's just a win 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 you feel me so yeah that was a very very big thing and this album has 13 songs on it which is Super a good amount of songs for a nice solid body of work, especially while all of the songs them is very good. You feel me? And what's so funny is, um, Little Dirk and Little Baby, two of the hottest artists over us in America, Little Baby and Little Dirk, just dropped their album literally the same day as Cargo, which was called um, Heroes. It's called Heroes, okay. And I actually listened to that album before I listened to Chicago album, and I wasn't even that interested. And I love Little Baby, you know. I'm growing onto Little Dirk or whatever, but me love Little Baby or whatever. And the album did okay, but when me hear Chicago album right after, me getting a nice calm vibes. Me, I'm a boyfriend. Like even my boyfriend said, "Yo, this album, Chicago album, sounded better than Little Dirk." A little baby album and my boyfriend is american okay he's american so that's why you know good music is really just good music you feel me i good music still so the first song on cargo cargo album is called come for me okay and i really like that he put this song first on his album for the simple fact that it had a female singing i didn't see who the female was like who wasn't singing but her voice her voice just took the song to another level i'm talking international level like will you come for me if you ever y'all <laughs> i can't even sing like her <laughs> but just know the girl can't sing and i really like her and cargo coming together on the track i thought that was beautiful cargo i don't know who that girl was but Shout out to you, boo, because you sound amazing. You feel me? You sound, you sound really, really good. And the next song, he have another song on the album called Missing Your Body. I don't know if you guys watched the onstage interview. Cargo was singing this song, singing his heart out to this song. And I don't know why every time I hear this song or hear Cargo performing this song, I can't stop laughing. Like, it's just too funny to me, okay? Like... He's just like, I'm missing your body back. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what kind of singing is this? But, like, my boyfriend told me, yo, this man is different. I'm just laughing because I'm just like, yo, Cargo is a whole character. If you know Cargo, like, if you watch him on Instagram and watch him on Facebook, and he's very funny. He, he's, he's, his personality shines through everything he does. You feel me? So, 
listening to him sing this song, you have to laugh. Like, <laughs> you have to fucking laugh. Because you like, yo, is that your real singing voice? Bruh, is that your singing voice? Because, bruh, he was just going in crazy. Like, I could just imagine him recording that song, just like, probably tears that I follow time. I know kind of go love ball and love for crying. So, it's something about that song that I do do love, but it's also comedic to me. You feel me? It's my boyfriend's favorite song on the album. It's his favorite song, and it's called Missing Your Body. I'm missing your body, babe. I'm missing your body, babe. I'm like, yo, y'all gotta go listen to this. Okay, y'all have to go listen. It's good music. Don't get me wrong, but the thing, but like, if you know Cargo, it funny and funny and funny and funny but like and I, that made me like it more like you know just that it's funny it gives me a little laugh i'm a little laugh like okay y'all so a uh, next song for the album woman i feel highlight and i read carlo for even writing a song like this i put it on the album come with me hear this song me say i mean myself chat but like who else could he be talking about but me the perfect virtuous woman me like everything i said on the song Mr. Bomba, please, I mean that. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah. <laughs> big, like, also, big woman thing. Like, no, no, look a girl thing. No, look a picnic thing. You feel me? Yo, I mean that. Bullshit. I love the fact that he wrote a song like this to teach these men, like, to teach these men to just, like, respect your woman. Everything that she do, the, from the liquor to the big, like, you're a good woman is really hard to find. And the truth is, a good man is also hard to find. But we ain't gonna get there because we ain't talking about y'all. Good women, like that one you're right, I saw. Yeah, hard to find because at one point in my life, I was not a virtuous woman. I, I could listen to the song, I mean, can't say, yo, me grow into this. Like, me, I could grow up for turn into this type of woman. You feel me? Because when me did look a girl, Peer, peer, me just, me just, I do me. Like, you can't tell me nothing. Like, me do, I do me. You feel me? But as me get older, me find one man with me love. I'm gonna wanna lock, me wanna feel lock it down. Lock it down. <laughs> that's the next song. We're gonna get to that song then. But yeah, me find a man with me just wanna, him just wanna lock me down. Me wanna lock him down. Yeah. Me, me cross over to one nice, 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 virtuous woman. Just like we're called going sing from with him song. So yeah, shout out to that song. I really love it. I would call it my favorite song on the album, but I have a real favorite, so I'm not going to call it that. But, like, to be honest, all of the songs, them, they're all good. Like, there's no skips on One More Time, especially if you're into the whole culture music. I love people like Coffee and um, Chronics and Octane and, like, certain type of artists. If that's what you love and you listen to, you're going to love Kaga. You just need to... Put Kaga in the mix, you feel me? Because him sang them, undeniable, undeniable. And shout out to Kaga, y'all. He coming to Atlanta, Georgia, July 31st, okay? And just know I will be there front and center supporting because that's what I do, per, per, okay? July 31st, so if you out here in Georgia, just know I'm going to put the flyer right here. Kaga going to be out here. And y'all... Let's put this into the existence that I can get Cargo to come on my channel, unsigned critic. I can't talk like a ting, 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 ting. You feel me? Let's put that out into the atmosphere right now. Per, because you know I'm going to the show. And then dead on that. But anyway, we're going to get to our next song called California Love. Um, And I love this song too. It's basically saying, girl, you hot like California. It's just a like 10, 10, 10. All across the board, at girl team. If you're not at, you can't act like California. And that's just that on that. That's another good song for the album you need to check out. Yeah. So one of the funnest, um, um, I would say this is another good, good song on the album that I was kind of shocked because I seen it's the only feature that Cargo has on his album. He don't have nobody. He had the girl singing, but I don't know who she is because he ain't for her name. <laughs> But he also have a feature with Breeza. You know, Breeza, if you know, you know. If you don't know me, I'm going to tell you. Breeza is, you know, basically the producer. Cargo's producer who basically, I believe, I don't quote me. I believe Breeza probably produced this whole album. You feel me? Yeah. And listening to Breeza on this track, 
I'm curious to hear some music from Breeza because Breeza seems like I'm in a different lane from Cargo. Cargo, I'm more like singer, like culture, you know. I don't know if that's what Cargo trying to turn into or what, but Breeza seems like I'm definitely more, eh, you know, yeah. Yeah, get the girl the wild and sing and sing and sing. Yeah. So, him and Breeza have a song called Dance For Me, okay? And I ain't gonna lie, like, I was kept listening to the song because one thing about me, when me hear a song, me want to listen to the beat, me want to listen to the melody, me want to listen to the style on company song, and me also uh, listen to the lyrics. You feel me? And when I heard the song, I really liked it. I was like, okay. I like to hear Cargo, like, in this lane. That's why I love this album, too. It's all different type of songs on here. Um, I heard his wife, Francine, you said it right, girl. She said there's a song on here for everybody, and she's really, really right about that. This song right here, Dance With Me, Cargo featuring Breeza, lit. For, you, for the girls that want to really dance, and you want to do a little one, two, you about to cheat them, you want to bounce it up and down, and that song here you need to listen to, y'all go on bounce it, period. So I really like that song. And I see why Breeza is on the song. Like, Breeza, me like when me hear Panda Sanya. I don't know if you're more of an artist or more of a producer, but we love it. And Cargo, I would really love to see Cargo with some other producers too. Because seeing how he switched it up with this song with Breeza, I'm just like, yo, Cargo can do enough things. And I can't wait to hear him expand into doing all type of music, all type. I want him to do features with, you know, artists, all type of things. You feel me? Yeah. And there's another song on the album called Rise Again. And I would call this one of my favorites, but it's not. I'm not going to say it's my favorite because it's not really my favorite type of song to listen to because I'm more of a hip hop, me love skilly bang on all the alkaline. Like, I don't think that me love listening to, you feel me? So this song, do Rise Again, it's a beautiful, beautiful song. That you can tell Cargo wrote from the heart, you know. And for anybody that fall down in life or things don't go your way in life, and you just you want to give up on life, you listen to that song here, and it just make you feel like yo, every every top people fall, you have to just come back up, you know. You will rise again to any 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 occasion, and once you have that type of mentality, you would never fail. You would never fail. And I don't know when Cargo wrote this song, but if you hear this song and see how he's doing right now, you see why you should never give up on life. Like, for real, you just have to always stay positive and just know that you the shit. Just know you the shit and you're going to be lit no matter what, period. So this song, I will rise again, I will rise again. That song, we love it, we love it, we love it, we love it. I just wrote down my, it's 13 songs on the album, but I just wrote down the main songs that I love. But when I listen to this, I really love every song. Like, all the songs, it's no skips. Like, you can listen to the whole album. Um, it's really a morning album. Like, we get up this morning, I'm going to listen to the whole album again. And I'm just like, yo, this album is really, really nice. It really is. No cap. No cap. So, now we're going to get into my favorite song on the album, which... I already knew this was my favorite song because, like I said, when he used to preview the album on his Facebook, I hear all these songs. I'm like, okay, you know, they're cute. I'm like, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute. But when I heard this song, and now they quarantine, she want me lucky dog, lucky dog. And then, and then, I come bring the cocky go, cocky go, yo, and the boom boom bed. Yo, I love. When Carlo switch up the flow. I love when he do his little singing shit. Then he come with the uh, nah, 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 nah. Uh, the melody shit. I love that. Okay. So this song is my favorite song because it's just like real ting. Like quarantine punani. Like quarantine kaki. Like you feel me? Real, <laughs> real things I go find. Real things I go don't find a lot known. Like for real. Like this is a real song. You feel me? Story of my life. <laughs> Story of my life. Story of my life. Like for show. Sure. So that's my favorite song. It's called Curfew. I'm curious to see like at the end of this week what is the top songs. Cause I wanna know if I'm right. Like, is Curfew really the hit song on the album? Cause Curfew is in a different lane compared to it's like you can't really compare Curfew to songs like Come For Me, 
rise again, missing your body, virtuous woman. You can't really compare curfew to them song because that's like a different man. Y'all know something like a different man. So me just put curfew down there to itself. I'm gonna say number one. Number one song. You feel me? Yeah. I love that song. Like that's the song I'm be listening to all the time. I'm gonna say, and I'm in the quarantine, she want me lucky though, lucky though, y'all. Come here, make a kick go, make a kick go. Yo! I don't know if y'all know, I told y'all I used to do music. And that's how I'm gonna even start this channel called Unsigned Critic, because I used to do music and then I just stopped doing music, because a whole bunch of things happened when we just give up on music. But recently, listen, they get to back into me like a dance out box. I'm like, yo, we want, we might, we, I may want to try a little thing again, you feel me? <laughs> we want to try like a thing. But yeah, so last but not least, y'all, the last story I wrote down was this butterfly song. <laughs> and I had to talk about this song because it's the most fun, it's a fun song. I don't want to say funny, but it's the funnest song to me on the album because it also to me brings out Cargo's personality in the funny way, like, not the singing, crying, and shit like before, but he like, um, the butterfly song. What he said, bring a little pony, make a pony, pony, some pony shit. Like, the way he, his punchlines, the way he coming in and out with the song. The, it's, that song is really lit. It took me at least two listens to really like the song. Because when I first heard it, I was just like, what is this? I'm like, what is Cargo doing? I'm just like laughing. But as I listen to the song again and again, I'm like, nah. This butterfly song is popping. <laughs> it's really popping. Like, I like it a lot. I like the wordplay. I like how he coming in and out. Like, I like to see, I like to listen to music where you can tell they was just either sad as fuck, heartbroken as fuck, don't give a fuck, lit as fuck, fuck a nigga, you feel me? Or they just having a good time. Like, you can tell he was just having fun with this song. And that makes me love it and like this song a lot. Okay? Yeah, it just makes me like the song a lot. So, guys, those are my top. How many songs that's about? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are my top eight songs on One More Time, Cargo, The Dealers album. And y'all go listen to it. Y'all go support this album. All my new um, subscribers, shout out to y'all. Thanks for watching all of my videos. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for liking my videos. I appreciate all of the new love that I've been getting on this channel. And I hope y'all like this review. I know y'all love my look of um, all my skinny bang reviews. My Alkaline, Spice, Shaggy, Sean Paul. Y'all like all my shit or whatever. And now I hope y'all love this Cargo. I hope y'all go follow Cargo on Instagram. Um, his Instagram is cargo underscore sky guard. Y'all go follow him over there and get his followers up on Instagram. Um, you know, he just started his page or whatever. And y'all go support his new mixtape. Um, not mixtape, his new album one more time. Like, this is no cap. If y'all watch my channel, y'all already know I don't cap. I let y'all know how I feel about everything. One thing I don't do about on this channel is hate. We don't hate on people on this channel. We don't gossip on this channel. Y'all already know. I'll let y'all know. No gossip to the team. We no hate. All we do is review the music and let the artists know how we feel about the music, whether we like it or we not. If we don't like it, that's not hate. That's just how we feel. And as as um fans of all these artists, they work so hard. It's our duty to let them know what we like and what we don't like. You understand? Like, if we like it, we want to tell them that we like it so they can't keep on doing more. If we hate it, we tell them say, yo, that not make it. So I don't know if it dash that way, scratch it and start over. So yeah, that's all we do here on Unsigned Critic with your girl, Diamond the Blood Cleat Slayer. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at Diamond the Slayer. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend about the girl channel you do and like i said if you're an upcoming artist you want me to review your music on my channel hit me up don't be afraid to let me know if you guys are um have any artists that you guys might want me to um talk about let me know in the comments um people let me know all the time artists that they want me to review and i definitely do it so you guys i don't care if they have zero followers or they're big celebrities whatever they are let me know like yo i'm listening to this i love it you should listen to it. Put me on. Let's put each other on to new, good 
music. Okay, so we just start supporting our artists who work so hard on all whether they're doing videos. And shout out to Cargo. Like Cargo, I'm waiting on a video that I'm like, no, I see a video for curfew. <laughs> And that grind the shit while I'm in lucky don't lucky don't yeah more I see a video yeah more I see more I see videos okay I love videos that's my favorite thing to go over is a video an album an album not video but yeah shout out to y'all dimes if you guys stayed all the way to the end of this video oh, I love you guys hit subscribe hit the like button later dimes.